Uh, we're going to look at why I use uh, Adespresso to help manage Facebook ad campaigns. Uh, you know, I found that Adespresso helps me, uh, it just get, provides an easier GUI or a, a, a desktop you know, layout such as uh, graphs, charts, that are just easier to read. It also gives me the ability to uh, use it to build out you know, customized algorithms that we can get into later on. And it also just provides nice reports and other simple features that you can use to manage your Facebook ad campaigns from one um, you know, uh, central location. Uh, a lot of times, you know, Facebook campaigns, I think a lot of people get confused when uh, using um, Facebook for the first time, you know, especially how to structure a campaign, an ad group, an ad set, and then how can you list those out. So with this, it makes it really easy uh, to do so, and it's going to allow us to go in and focus on those core elements that, um, you know, I talk about in my other video series, and those elements being the headline, the ad text, the image or video, um, the link, which is our URL of our final landing page that we're going to send our traffic to, as well as the link description and, and our call to action button. So, uh, a lot of these, all these elements, um, you know, is easy to produce uh, using a tool like this. One of the really cool things is that we're able to take and and come up with multiple headlines, say three or four, multiple ad text, say three or four, multiple images, you know, say four, five, six. And we're able to allow th this, uh, this tool to mix them all together to basically do what someone like I would have done, you know, a couple of years ago manually on the uh, actual business uh, desktop manager. So uh, with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and just start off with setting up a campaign. By this point, you should have already uh, logged in, you, you know, or signed up to use Espresso using the same email address that you have with your Facebook account, that way, uh, or your Facebook profile or business manager account, that way you're able to go ahead and integrate and link them together. Uh, once again, we'll get into more videos into that in the future, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up with just looking at it from, uh, we'll go ahead and set up the first campaign and, and introduce that. Uh, you know, this is a real simple, uh, easy to use, you know, you've got four different selections uh, or four different categories of ways to promote and then multiple ways to do it um, on, you know, whenever we run a campaign. Really, truthfully, for 90% of the campaigns that you're going to want to run, especially lead gen, where you're going to want to run traffic to your site, whether you're doing e-com, uh, B2B, B2C, uh, you're going to want to use the external website link here. So. First things first, let's just go ahead and set up something simple. So let's just set up a test campaign V1. I like to put V1 because it, V1 stands for version one. So you're able to do multiple versions because one of the cool features of using Espresso is you're able to go in and copy a campaign real quick and duplicate it out, say to a different audience, you know, use different images, different, whatever. You're able to do a lot of things. We'll get into that. Uh, for now, don't worry about tags. I mean, certainly you can, you can put in your tags and link them however, uh, you know, that's pertaining to the keywords of the campaign that you're running. Uh, say you're running something on, you know, selling lima beans. Uh, you know, here you want to talk, you know, beans, lima beans, uh, uh, healthy produce, organic foods, uh, whatever other tags you can come up with. But for now, <clears throat> for not, like I said, I, I would say 90, 98% of all the campaigns I would typically run, we're using the external website, a link, a URL, landing page to run our campaigns to. So put in the name of the campaign, you're just gonna hit proceed. Um, everything's really uh, in a fashion that's gonna take you from naming the campaign to write, you know, bringing in the ad text, your headlines, your copy, your images to set up with, and then it's gonna take you to building your audience. And then it's gonna ask you to publish and the sequence is over. So I would say for the first video, let's just stop, well, what do you say, Dave? Should we should we go ahead and proceed or or uh, stop where we're at? Uh, let's stop for a second. 